In a world where almost everyone forgets, you remember, you Three know. Three stages of memory process, um, which is um, encoding, storage, and retrieval. Well, first, encoding is the process by which information gets into the memory storage. Like how you always remember weird looking Torres. Secondly, storage is the retention of information over time and how this information is represented in memory. Also, do note, my darling, that experiences also occur that undermine the memory. An important term you need to know is retroactive interference. It's like how you always strangely ask me where I was like 20 days ago when all I can remember is where I was probably like three days ago. Now, Back to the three stages. Retrieval is the ability to access information when you need it. When I met your dad at a party for the first time, I encode his name while associating his name with his lovely face and store that information in my mind until the next time I see him and recognize his face to retrieve his name. Once you complete this process, you will remember successfully. The fact is right. Isn't misremembering almost the same as the misinformation effect, Mom? And you are wrong. Misinformation effect happens when our recall of episodic memories becomes less accurate because of post-event information. Let me give you a mind-blowing example. You, my little girl, happens to be a first-hand witness of a car accident. You saw the entire accident and after the accident, late arriving bystanders and members of the media are asking you to recall the event. The media and other bystanders kept talking about how the car behind was at fault and how it raced so aggressively dangerous. When the law enforcement interviewed you, you are exposed to such misinformation that interferes with your thinking, making you feel that, yeah, perhaps the driver behind was at fault when you consciously knew that he wasn't. Think about it. What if it escalated so big because of your misinformation? The court ruled that the second driver killed the first driver and that the second driver had to go to jail. This is hugely because of your misinformation first-hand eyewitness testimony. So now, back to you, old friend. Who's watching this right now? Let me ask you a simple question to test if you have been listening and watching attentively just now. Was the red sports car driving faster than the blue car when it passed the barn while traveling along the road? Was it? Was it? Now, let me ask you again. Was there even a barn in the first place? Let me help you with this by rewinding the if video. If you even answered my question about whether the sports car was driving faster or not, not realizing that there was no barn in the first place, you are successfully one of my victims of misinformation effect. <laughs> I gotcha.